Anthony Harding comes on to replace Ryan Matthews in the backfield for Fresno State. They're already in striking range. A little play action. Brad Stater has a man. Pass is caught. Marlon Moore, his first grab, and he's down inside the 10. Somewhat of a surprise. Marlon Moore is playing with a soft cast on his left arm, still able to make a nice catch. If you got a broken thumb and you play for Pat Hill, that really doesn't count. You just put a little rubber cast on that. Look at his left hand. Nice job of looking the ball in. Senior kicker, Clint Stitzer, 20-yarder. No problem, and the Bulldogs of Fresno State are on the board. Here come the Aggies. They blitz their one of their linebackers, and Brant Stater is going to run for the first down and a bunch more. Oh, Brant Stater still on his feet inside the 25-yard line. So with the blitz coming on, Brant Stater just took it under his arm and picks up a huge amount of yards, 39 yards. One of the risks when you blitz, and here they come. They're bringing everybody. They're in man coverage. There's nobody to cover the quarterback. So Brandstater takes off, and the, the people have their back turned running. You can actually see the linebackers turning and running in their man coverage assignments. They don't even see the quarterback. The field goals instead of touchdown. Stitzer, no problem. The senior, two for two. First one, 20 yards out. This one, 24 yards out. So another trip to the red zone for Pat Hill's team, and they have to settle for three one more time. He's already completed the requirements to pick up his degree from Fresno State. He's in graduate school. And he keeps it himself, but he's smart enough to know where the hole is and, and drop in for the touchdown. Brad Stater scores the first touchdown of the game for Fresno State. And Al Mummy's bunch for the first time today. They trail against Pat Hill. That was Brad Stater's second running touchdown this year. He's not going to make a living running the football, but he drops that back foot. Drives forward, gets his pads relatively low. He could be a little lower in terms of technique, but he did get it in the end zone. Rand Stater wants to throw. Out of the backfield, parting with the catch and the two points. Now they made the two points, so obviously that means they were correct. But as a statistical reality, you got a better chance of scoring two by kicking it twice than by going for two twice. Brooks swings it out to Neiman. And Neiman nowhere to go. He has swarmed and dropped. The freshman linebacker, Ben Jacobs, the first man there. The Heisman Trophy for the Houston Cougars when they weren't on TV the entire season. So he didn't get much face time either, yet he won the award. Big play down the middle. There he is again, the sophomore Marlon Moore, biting off a huge chunk, a gain of 38 yards before Derek Richardson brings him down. Well, we talked about the fact that the offensive line for Fresno has taken this game over. This is a good example. Look at the nice pocket. Grand Stater just standing in there as long as he needs to. The long developing route to Marlon Moore down the middle between the two deep coverage and a perfect throw. And we see why Brand Stater is just really becoming that intuitive field kind of quarterback. Fresno State with their use of the ground game, as you'd imagine, just dominating the time of possession. And Matthews, another touchdown for the freshman. His 14th score of the year. And Fresno State starting to crank it up just a little bit. The O-line got together on the sideline, and their coaches affectionately referred to him as a nasty bunch of guys, just rough and tumble, and the coaches say it's just fun to go to work with them every day, and they got over there on the sideline and said, look here, we're messing around with this New Mexico State team. We're going out and take the game over, and they just knocked it in the end zone. Good here at State. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. They drive possible. <laughs> That's easy for me to say. Left-hand side, Anthony Harding rips off a big run inside the 35, his best run of the day. And Fresno State in business here in the third quarter. <laughs> I knew it was coming. And off Jeremiah Williams, no place to go. Big John Manga gives him a bear hug and brings him down at the one. Big John is the sack leader of the inside guys. I'm talking about he and Tobert are the defensive tackles. Those 6'2", 280 guys, excellent quicks, and Pat Hill said, and by the way, he, runs, he plays the run really well also. Well, we just saw that. This game, another solid effort, 66 yards, halfway home here in the third quarter. And again, Harding with a big gouge in the middle, and he runs through for six. 
With that drive, with Bobby Lapore blocking on Jared Naylor, number 91, the announcement has been made. This is going to be a whooping. Uh, you can just see it now. The offensive line for Fresno just having its way, just knocking people back off the ball, turning them out, turning them in as they wish. The back's running through, and there's that brook trout stare that Woody doesn't like to show us. That's a bad feeling. When you can't stop the running game, that's the worst feeling in college football. He has a theory about the way he wants to play. It does not make his defensive coordinators happy with him all the time. And he thought this would be the year that they had a winning season and that they got into a bowl game. They were not able to do that. They've lost 10 starters from 33 games missed from time to time, and they just haven't been able to hold up. I think the loss of Chris Williams in the Idaho game, their great, great player that was leading the nation uh, in yards per game receiving, I think that really was um, a devastating blow to their chances. On the 32-yard line, man in motion is Brandon Allen, and they give to Allen, and that's going nowhere. Drop behind the line of scrimmage for a loss, a loss of four on the play. Mark Roberts, number 99, backup defensive tackle, just does an excellent job coming off the ball, fighting off the blocker, clearly in the backfield. No place for Allen to go. The one thing you can't have on those kinds of misdirection plays is penetration. Four receivers in the game, three right side. Holbrook, sacked from behind, didn't see it coming at all. Will Harding comes across the edge and knocks him down for a loss of six. State. Play action, Brad Stater throws open, wide open, inside the 25, Doshei Ajera Tutu. 39 yards on third down and eight. This is a great job. What, what outstanding quarterbacks do in addition to everything else we talk about, Tom Brandstater makes this football disappear. Watch right here. The linebackers don't know where the football is. They're still wondering. So they're standing there looking. So there's plenty of space as they try to take their drops late to throw it in there. And this offense can go 80 yards in a heartbeat. No timeouts remaining for New Mexico State. And the first play doesn't net much. A.J. Harris loses yards. That was a... Fourth down and two. Holbrook over the middle. Incomplete, and that'll do it. That'll do it for the dreams of Hal Mummy and New Mexico State. Their season will end with a record of four and nine. Uh -oh. Yes, what, what a marvelous tradition Woody has lived through and experienced and coached. And he's a, a wonderful person and a great competitor. Now, safe home, Woody Woodenhofer. 40 great years of coaching. Retiring after tonight, says he's going to move with his wife. Probably someplace in Florida and kind of spend his days on the golf course and maybe catching a couple of fish. Hal Mummy's team, they fought valiantly, but they come up seven points short. They finish their season with four wins and nine losses. Fresno State throw up to a bowl game. They pick up win number eight on the season. They still have one more postseason game to go. Fresno State, 30. New Mexico State, 23.